The 19-year-old sister of a teenager who took his own life in Parliament has also died. Chloe Brown was the elder sibling of William Lindsay, whose death sent shockwaves across Scotland last year when he passed away while detained. The 19-year-old woman died suddenly on Wednesday, with friends and family now fundraising for her funeral. Friends and family members paid tribute to the intelligent, smiling, friendly Chloe on social media, and are planning to hold a memorial event on Christmas Eve in her honour. They plan to release bubbles and throw flowers into the Clyde in memory of the young woman, and hope to raise £1,000 for her funeral service. Both William and Chloe had spent much of their childhoods in care, with their mother, Christine Lindsay, revealing previously that she was only allowed to see them for 11 hours a year. The 55-year-old, from Possel Park in Glasgow, had struggled with substance misuse and had been a victim of domestic abuse in the past. When Chloe, who had been a student at West College Scotland, was 18 she returned to live with her mother in Possel Park, with William also returning home before he turned 16. In 2017, the family spent their first Christmas together since the two siblings had been taken into care. The celebration would end up being their last, with William found dead on October 7, 2018 at Polmont Young Offenders Institution just days after he was sent there on a remand. Chloe, who was close to her brother and spoke with him hours before his death, posted about William on social media the day after his suicide. Along with a photograph of the pair, she wrote, He was so happy here. This doesn't feel real tbh, wish I could see you one more time. My baby brother, love and miss you. The two siblings' deaths have brought the scandal of deaths among people who have been in care to the fore. Last year campaigners called for the deaths of those in care, or who have recently left care, to be officially recorded. Those who have been in care are more likely to suffer worse mental and physical health and are a higher risk of suicide, overdose and death than people who are not brought up in care. Duncan Dunlop, head of Who Cares? Scotland, told the Herald on Sunday that Chloe is the fifth person to have died this month who was a member of his organisation. He said, it is challenging to find the words to explain the depth of this tragedy. This is the fifth care experienced member whose death I have been notified of since the beginning of December. Young people who are loved, understood and feel like they belong do not die at such a rate and in such tragic circumstances. The deficit in their lives is love and the current system doesn't offer this to everyone organically, consistently and forever. We have already called on the Scottish government to take this s for more on this story. Visit the news article link.